Absolutely. From a very early age, I was a, a very early reader. I mean, I, I fell in love with books at a very young age, but I also found songs and movies and paintings told stories. And I just have always been happiest actually in somebody else's story. I love the feeling of being swept away by characters. And, um, and so I think that had a lot to do with why I eventually wrote this book. It was a lifelong dream to write a novel, being a, oh. being a lifelong reader. So um, I think that my early years uh, growing up with and the way that my family dynamic was uh, led me to this moment. I love that. And you have such a warm family uh, in this book behind Jane as well. So yeah. that comes across. But um, and then, of course, you went on to have a career in music um, and, and co-founded the band The Bangles. Would you tell us a bit about your your experience with music and how that ties to this novel? Well, yes. I mean, music definitely informed the writing process. I had a playlist that I made early on as I started to write the book. And um, as soon as I would listen to certain songs, I would be it was as if I was going through this portal into another world and I was there with my characters and they would all start talking to me and I would be on a walk, you know, clacking away on my phone, trying to just bottle what they were saying. So I, when I got home, I could put it on the page. And um, yeah, so, you know, my early years uh, as, you know, as a music lover led me to wanting to form a band um, out just after I graduated uh, the University of California at Berkeley, which was also an incredible place to go to college in the 70s because there was so much music and art in the Bay Area going on. But yeah, so I, I spent the decade of the 80s being a, a, a ensconced in the world of rock and roll and being a bangle and, you know, we've carried on past the 80s. But yeah, it was a very uh, interesting time. And did you always know you wanted to write about the music business? Like, how did you feel um, exploring that world through fiction for the first time? You know, I wasn't, I didn't know at first that Jane would be a musician. I, I felt that she would be someone who was in the arts. But as I got more into the process of, of toying with what the book could be and what the journey of the book could be, um, I realized that I had this incredible opportunity to kind of pull back the curtain and what it really feels like to go on a stage and look out at a crowd, your heart is beating and you somehow have to sort of flip a switch and give over to this sort of other person that lives inside you that does that. And um, it's one thing to sort of sing around the house and another to kind of go on tour and sing in front of a big audience and to figure out how to channel your daily life's emotions into a song, how to write a song, how to express something that others would potentially and hopefully uh, relate to. That was always the thing. It's like, how, that's what I love about songwriting. It's like, it's a, it's a chance to kind of bottle this idea or these feelings and hopefully other people will relate to them because that's how so the songs I grew up loving that's the effect, the sort of magical effect they had on me. Like I can put on a song and it will just bring back a heartbreak or, or it will bring on tears, it will bring joy, absolute joy and exhilaration. So I, I, I kind of, music is like the soundtrack of my day. I'm always kind of, you know, choosing a song for whatever mood I'm in. I love that. And you have so many great um, references to songs and music and moods in the book, which I really loved. So um, I'm curious about Jane as a character. I mean, she is so incredible. Um, how did you come up with her? And, and, you know, how much of her is drawn from you and your experiences and how much of her is something sort of separate from yourself? I feel like you'll probably get this question a lot, but I'm just so curious. Well, Jane is considerably younger than me, <laughs> so she was really fun to write about because um, I was able to tap into the idea of someone who had started her career at age 23, and now we find her at 33 at, in, in a kind of crisis moment. And, um, you know, I, I think that because I, I know the music world and I know 
what it is to struggle to write a song, what it is to feel very um, heartbroken. You know, Jane, we find her in a place of deeply, deeply heartbroken moment in her life. And so I, you know, I was able to channel things that sometimes I didn't even know were kind of bringing up the sort of deep layers strata of the past for myself that I could channel into her. But she's, she's definitely not me, but she's someone I really like. I really love Jane and I worry about her <laughs> and I wanted things to work out for Jane, but I also knew that she had to go through her struggles and face her demons and find, you know, sort of the authenticity of, who, of how she wanted to live her life. And the music business can be very tricky that way. So I, I hope that it's a relatable character for others. Absolutely. Um, and I'm just curious, I mean, her love story, is so incredible. Was there what sort of inspired the love story she has with Tom in the book for you? Well, I just have always loved the idea of the vicarious pleasure that we can get from art and other people's stories. So I knew going in that beyond writing about being a music lover and wanting to write something that included my love of music was that I wanted the reader to have an experience a, vic a vicarious experience of that first blush of romantic love, that sort of feeling like you're walking on air and that you're in this sort of state of constantly glowing and beaming. And, you know, I just wanted that to be a part of the book. So there's a, there's, that's a, that was an important aspect of the book to, to share this, hopefully this idea of, uh, romantic love and a vicarious pleasure in that for the reader. Absolutely. And I remember the very first time I spoke with you, you talked about how you just love to write scenes between Jane and Tom because you were just escaping into their love and how fun it was to be like in their company, which I, as a reader, I felt that too. In their bed. In their <laughs> bed. Yeah, I think one time you're like, you know, like we were wrapping up a call and you're like, I, you know, I, I don't want to get back to, you know, there, there's a yeah. scene, they're, they're in bed together. That's where I'd like to be right now. And I was like, I mean, me too. Yeah. So <laughs> my husband used to come home. My husband's a filmmaker, and he used to come home, and I'd be sitting there eight hours at the kitchen table working on the book. He goes, I, "Why are you having so much fun writing? No one, no one enjoys writing." And I said, and I would say to him, "Well, I do because I, my character is in bed with her fictional boyfriend, and so let's <laughs> please <laughs> let me go back to that." Yeah. So it was just really, I don't know. Is it pure? Is escapist for me. It was just really fun to write those scenes. Yeah, and is there anything else you hope readers will take away from reading This Bird Has Flown? Um, well, I just hope that, as I just said, that it's a vicarious journey for them, that they feel that sense of that first blush of a new relationship, and that they also have a chance to maybe be in Jane's shoes for a minute and feel her panic at walking out onto a stage and um, having to perform and really kind of having to overcome her demons, you know, and, and, you know, try to find out who she really is, like what, what to find that authentic place for herself, even though the music business can be really challenging and people have certain expectations of you. I mean, this is true for people in many lines of work, you know, that they, they struggle to try to find that place of authenticity in their work. And um, so I think that the book kind of run, has those two elements to it, you know, the journey of coming out of a, you know, dark place in your personal love life and finding love again. And, you know, also working through your demons, whatever they may be in terms of your you know, career path. Yeah, 